We did catch a break from tracking name systems after Fred and Henri were impacting various parts of the country, but we're going back into a mode where we're likely going to have another couple name systems in the next several days. One of which doesn't have a name right now, just has an identifying label that's in the Central uh, Caribbean. There are also a couple other areas in the open Atlantic. Neither of these are going to have an impact on the U.S. mainland as it appears, but the one in the Caribbean certainly has a lot of interest uh, because it is for forecast to move continuously to the west and northwest and eventually reaching the Yucatan Peninsula and then eventually making its way into portions of the Gulf region, either the central or the west. That's been the ongoing trend with this wave, which is still rather disorganized. And as it goes into sections of Central America, the land interactions could certainly delay any kind of strengthening that this could try to undergo. And even if it moves over the Yucatan, that will kind of stall its development. But over the western Gulf, the waters there are extremely warm, mid-80s and perhaps even upper 80s uh, as you get closer to the Louisiana coast and the Sabine River area. So that is high-octane fuel, so to say, for a tropical system to move into. And the latest guidance continue to move in that general trend uh, to the northwest. So this keeps it clear of our region. There are still several days of data and fine tuning and uh, number crunching to really hone in on a definitive path for this. But given that that trend has been more focused in the central and western Gulf, our development index for tropical systems is still in a very favorable range even into the weekend. So that's going to be something to monitor very closely. The next name on the list is Ida. And then if any of those other Atlantic systems form, the one after that would be Julian. So we'll have to monitor uh, more than just one uh, to see which one gets a name. But it looks like uh, the Gulf could be kind of active as we go into the weekend and early next week. But